Hi guys, so as you guys can see from my intro, I'm watching Doraemon movie because this is holiday. Yay! And Nobita and Suzuka, Suneo Giant, they're just so one wool package in a cutie. And I'm still watching that while I make my face. Make my face? Is that even work? So I'll be filming a makeup tutorial today for Lunar Chinese New Year and I think this is will be a chit chat. Get ready with me. Bye. So I already moisturized my face as usual. I don't even need a primer because I only have one primer actually. And now I'm just gonna start off with NYX Born to Go liquid illuminator in gleam and what's that? Dorami? She's just so cute and she is eating melon bread if you know melon bread this that's that's kind of follow cheese bread if you know that and now I'm gonna highlight my under eye I always love to highlight my under eye first before my foundation because I just Love doing that and doesn't build any like short of foundation underneath my concealer because this just makes my face look cakey and here I'm using the Max Vector Master Touch under eye concealer and just make short of like a triangle. And I think I'm just gonna use my fingers to pat that into my under eye. I'm gonna prime my eyelid with this Wenwai Fergie eye primer. Today I plan to wear a bronze makeup look, but I didn't know why. But I think I'm gonna take this color, like a blue brown color. <laughs> so, what am I just doing? I just fall everything out. So for now, I'm taking this sand color from the Makeover Single Matte Eyeshadow and with a blending fluffy brush. Oh yeah, that colors will go to my crease right here and don't go anywhere. And you know what? I make that DIY uh, like this thing. It was from my Ferrero Rocher collection but I'm just use that because that's useful now I'm taking that blue brown color with the medium lip brush from the Masami Suko I don't know how to pronounce that anyway I didn't uh, dip in this brush with a water because I just feel it doesn't need to be like that and I'm just gonna pat that to my lids now I'm taking the dome blending brush and I'm just gonna blend that shadow until there's no harsh line the city color timeless beauty and I'm taking this color as my brow bone highlight excess holy crap so intense so guys I already uh, do my eyebrow and if you guys are first thing I put the link to my eyebrow routine down below to the foundation, I'm using the MAC Studio Sculpt. I have a full review and a demo for this if you guys are interested. Link in the description box below, also. And you know what? I'm talking about the City Color Timeless Beauty. That was a very, very intense highlight. So you just need just a little bit product, then you will get your satisfied. Uh, product satisfied 
To prevent any creaseness under my eyes, I'm taking this Hello Flawless Powder by The Benefit and just apply that underneath my eyes. And to set my under, my under, my entire face, I'm using this Maybelline. <clears throat> I'm sorry, my voice is a bit croaky, but I'm taking the Maybelline Clear Smooth All in One Powder to set my entire face. And now I'm gonna mix three different mascara. I'm gonna upload a review for this Maybelline Extreme Stiletto soon and you wanna know what I didn't have any eyeliner right now really really I don't have any my last wet and wild cream eyeliner is just drying out I never used that but when I I guess there's only two weeks it's just drying out I don't know that formula is just like weird so I'm just gonna pop some mascara on too my lashes, tons of tons mascara because I didn't wear any eyeliner. And if you guys want to know that I think that I have a what is this called? A uh, waterline issues that I tried to put an, uh, a white eyeliner about a week ago. Then I just like my eyes just feel so burnt and makes my eyes irritate so I never put any like uh, eyeliner to my waterline because that's just scary you guys I didn't enjoy any blush on my face lately and I just kind of like bronze up my face and I'm using the NYC sunny bronzer and I just feel that makes my face uh, more healthier I didn't know I just love bronzy face for a couple weeks and bring that a little bit on my cheeks and now I'm gonna contour my face with the makeover face contour kit and I'm taking the brush that comes with it because this just feels so great and I'm mixing two shades of that because that's just a good color. And make sure there's no more shine and keep blending upwards. Oh my god, my hair is so annoying. And I never forgot to contour my nose because this just necessarily and I never use a brush for my oh my gosh that's too strong I never use brush I mean it's just rare for me to wear a brush because I think using your finger is just melts the, the products into your skin and it just blends so naturally that's why I never use a brush I'm just using my and for the highlight of course I'm using the city color Tempest Beauty and I'm taking this shade this shade right here and as you guys should know this product is really trans intense so you just need oh my god that's, that's not a good mirror just need a little amount of that things because you're gonna look like a disco ball can you see that glow? I don't know. She's so pretty, you know? So pretty. You know, this is so pretty, and I'm talking like a British accent. So weird. Can you see that? Bridge of my nose. My cute as well. So I'm taking the Maybelline Color Show and the color Downtown Red. It's just uh deep red kind of look and I'm just bring this inside my lips I'm gonna finish off with the brow blonde silver lustrous lipstick in a shine formula you know I used to hate it but for everyday wear this is just so red <laughs> 
so that is my finished look i hope you guys enjoy and i end up by braiding my hair into this look and of course with a piece of earrings will make this day cheerful <laughs> so yeah see you till my next video bye guys have a nice day